about the area of a triangle. This is worksheet number three. And um, we're going to look at just area of triangles, which I think is, again, a very basic review item, but we want to look at it in a couple of different contexts. First uh, of all, one of the ideas of where the formula comes from is that a triangle is exactly half of a rectangle that encloses it. So you, when you make the rectangle, you must use the same base and the same height. So this rectangle here is exactly double the area of the triangle inside of it. And the way to see that is that these match and that these match. The interesting one is an obtuse uh, triangle. And how do you see the rectangle that is the same area as it? A lot of students want to draw it out to this point. The answer, though, is not there. It is right here. This is the rectangle that has the same area, at, or double the area of that triangle. That triangle's base is here, and so the base is the same for the rectangle, and the height is here. Don't draw it out to here because the, that is not a part of the base. This would be it here. And using a bit of a shearing technique, which uh, hopefully you understand, you could see that we could move that point somewhere into that region and it would be a much more visibly clear item. Another way to think about um, triangles is this idea of uh, a base and a height. And a lot of students, they see a particular base. They see, ah, uh, here is, you know, this has got to be the base and this has got to be the height. The truth is, is that there are three potential bases and three potential heights in any triangle. Um, and so uh, to, to show you maybe that, let's use, I'll use this one here because uh, the way it's, it's designed. But you could have this base and this height. You could use this as your base and your height would be somewhere over here as well. Do you see that base and that height? And then it would also be true that you could use this as a base and this as a height as well. So in any given triangle, there are three uh, distinct bases and its accompanying height. And so sometimes we get caught up in only thinking about it this way. Um, the other idea that, they, that we introduced was this idea of finding the area of a rectangle, like, or sorry, a, a triangle like this one on a grid where it has no nice horizontal or vertical measurements. And the key to that, I find, is to use something called the box technique. And what the box technique is, is the idea that if you place a box around the original triangle, while this is tricky, this area and this area and this area is not very tricky because those are just right triangles. So if you took the entire box or rectangular area, subtract the three right triangles, you'd be left with the weird, awkward triangle area. It's such a quick and simple way to do it. Um, I guess just maybe briefly to discuss dissection or uh, halving techniques, a way to uh, get the idea of how a triangle area is exactly half of uh, the base times the height of a rectangle again is that maybe what you could do is you could take this and rotate it into this position and take this and rotate it in here and what you would form is exactly a rectangle and that rectangle which represents the area of the original triangle would be the same base but half the height and so there again is half the height um, one half the base times the height very powerful now in terms of doing you a couple of questions really all you're doing is searching out base and height and those types of things um, there might be a couple of tricky ones let me just see if I can spot something here um, yeah sure one of, the, one of the things to keep an eye on is uh, a triangle where that maybe they give you this is six and eight and a, and this is a right triangle um, and you might have uh, something like this and so you're like okay I have a height of eight but I don't have my base and so what you might need to do is use the Pythagorean theorem to find this distance so you'd say eight squared plus x squared equals seventeen squared solve this to find it to be 15 and now you're ready to calculate one half the base which is 21 times the height of 8 
and you'd multiply those things out. So as I look here, they're going to use 30, 60, 90. They're going to use Pythagoras. They're going to use uh, a lot of things to throw you off. Let's do one with a 30, 60, 90. So let's say um, we had this kind of a triangle. And this is 30, 60, and 90. And uh, we want, they tell us that this is uh, 20 here centimeters. And they tell us that this is, I don't know, 8 centimeters. And we say, well, how do we find uh, the area of this? Well, if I want to think of this as my base, then I need this height. And I know that in a 30, 60, 90, this would be 4. And then this would be 4 root 3. And so I'm ready to say 1 half base times height, which uh, is 40 root 3 centimeters squared in terms of that. So all you're going to do is look for some of those clues of special right triangles, Pythagorean theorem, um, and that's kind of the hidden stuff. I think if you keep an eye open, you'll be okay.